Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Kingcraft server. We're going to do some work over here at the jungle village today. But something has happened. Oh no, what are these tracks? Where are all of my villagers? What is that netherrack? What is this? What is happening? Oh my goodness, where are the doors? Hmm. I'll tell you what, it's not a surprise to me, don't worry. Um, I've... Uh shrank our villager population a little bit um, I had it running infinitely just to you know proof of concept making sure it would do that should I want it to do that um, but I think I said one of the first episodes we started working out here that I wanted to name each of the villagers um, and kind of have this be like an actual village with individual villagers not just a herd of them hiding in houses uh, have buildings for each of the like professions or types of villagers um, kind of do that that's what that is but we'll talk about that in a second um, so I've got uh, I think I saved six um, and also this is blocked off because it was pointed at out to me that I didn't have to just let it running and brutally drown all of the villagers that spawned out of it. Um, so that's what's got it shut off right now. And this is the water stream that goes down to the breeder. Hey kitty. Hey zombie. Get out of here. Oops. Oh, in your face. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is see what kind of villagers we have. We've got a shepherd. Did you just throw something at me? Okay. Um, but cool, we're going to build a... Can you step away, sir? I need that corner. That might be fine. I can't place anything here either. Back up. Back away, sir. Please, for your own safety. Uh, we're going to build something for a shepherd today. This is um let's rewind the buildings that i'm doing for the professions are going to be like modified versions of the vanilla versions if there is one so this for example is uh a rough build of a church that i did in creative um kind of tried to do the same design um i just you know, flip back and forth between my test world and this world and rebuilt this um, in vanilla. I haven't had the opportunity to get glass yet or to add in the other types of stone blocks. Um, and I'll probably do some detail work in here, like maybe a pulpit or something up here and some seats. I don't know. Um, these can go now. This is from hurting all of the villagers, and I guess I can put the doors back to you. Doop, doop. Um, but we're going to do a couple things today. The first of which is, uh, a lot of the building I've been doing lately, I do in creative first. Uh, that's kind of a change I've made within the past few months. Uh, I hadn't done it until this map. I also took all the beds away because they will, they do get stuck on the beds because it's like half a slab and then the top of their head gets stuck in here and they can't get off the beds. So eventually I had like four villagers standing on each bed all day long they couldn't move. <laughs> so um, I don't know what we'll do about that. I guess we don't actually need real beds out here so we might can come up with something that looks like a bed or maybe a cot or something. I don't know. We'll deal with that at some point um, so let's see yeah that's what we're gonna do today is hop in uh, the test world and kind of play around with uh, what kind of building we want to put in here um, and then transfer that into this area at a later date but today just gonna be sort of a creative mess around build episode and then we'll come back here and do something with these guys so, see you in the test world. BK's tip of the day. 
You may have noticed some different like block textures in my videos uh, that don't fit in with what I... Uh, the base texture pack I use is Faithful32, um, which you'll see most of around here. Um, but I've got some textures that I don't like the texture of, and as a builder, if I don't like the block, I'm not going to use it. So in order to you know give myself more blocks to work with, I found some other cool textures that I liked. Uh, these are the bricks. These are, I think this is dark oak and this is birch. And this, these are the nether brick textures, which I really like. Um, there's just a lot more texture to the actual block than you get in the uh, vanilla version. Um, same with these hay bales. I really like those. Um, but that's just something cool you can do to give you some more toys to play with. Um, because I know personally I definitely avoid blocks that I don't like using. But let's get on to this. You should recognize this from the video, not the video, the clip we just uh, completed a few seconds ago. Um, some of the stuff is different, not really different, but I left out because this part here is kind of underground. So I just, it's just flat all the way to the bottom. Um, there's a village over there. Uh, so for this shepherd, I don't know if I want to call them businesses, but it's like the, the shepherd building. So let's get our tools, tools of the trade. These are basically what all of, I didn't get that. Oh, that's a stair. I need a slab. Thank you. Um, let's, uh, what is it? Time set day. Ah, pretty. Okay. Um, I'm thinking sort of a smallish building um, with a pin attached to it with a couple sheep in it. I think that would be cool. And actually, for the pin, let's get some of this. Stop raining, please. Uh, they're clear. Yep. I should set something up that automatically does it like that. Um, but let's just start with a doorway. I think we've been just doing the same type of doorway on, oh my goodness, on all these buildings. And I kind of like that. But at the same time, maybe we can mix it up a little bit. Maybe. Hmm. Let's have this one come out one block on the front instead. So this is going to be the front, um, we'll have the door, we'll still do this and we'll have the door inset like that. And then let's do, let's do this, how does that look? You definitely get a different feel this way, let's put, oops, well, nah, put a fence post in there like that. And then maybe let's have like a little overhang thing on the front. All right, I can fly. <laughs> Used to building in vanilla. Hmm. Nope, that's too much. Too much. What if we just run this all the way up? Hmm. Interesting. Let's leave it that way for now. Um, so we got this, and then let's do this again, and then we'll have room for a window. We'll just do a window on one side because we're gonna have a pin attached, attached to one side. Um, how have I done windows on this side? I want to switch it up. It's hard to do that sometimes when you're building in the same style. You kind of get locked in a pattern. Let's get rid of that and put fences here. Okay. I don't hate it yet. Yet. <laughs> um, let's make this one kind of asymmetrical. We'll have like a little gap thing here on the back and do something like that. Maybe another window? 
or just a wall maybe what can we do here see you get stuck in these same like principles it's hard to mix it up let's work on this side um, let's come out one here and Ooh, this is scary it's not gonna fit in with all the other buildings uh, what if we have like a, a transition room almost that you can go from the inside to the outside that seems like something you would want if you had sheep attached to your house uh, so let's bring out one more actually something like this um, and what's the back gonna look like Let's do that. Oh, this is scary. Doesn't feel right. Let's do that. And then here. Hmm. That is weird. What do I do on the front? How does that look? Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then we'll do, 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 do um, just that, or do we want to do that? Hmm. Or switch it around. Oops. Like that. I like that. Switches the texture up. All right. So here. Let's just do a flat wall across the back. Maybe we can funk it up a little bit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh. Hmm. Well, don't want that showing on the inside. That's probably fine for right that. For right that. That's what I just said. For right that. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. All right, uh, let's do this here. Um, is this the pin? Have we started the pin yet? Let's have like an interior wall, sort of. Maybe it's more of a like a divider wall. Something like that. This is becoming more of like a modern build. <laughs> eh, that's okay. Let's leave this and do like that. So it'll still be open. Okay, and then this is where the pin is going to start. So we can, uh, let's do some fence gates. I think maybe. Oh, the gates are under redstone. We're using spruce out here. Actually, let's. Uh... No, we don't have room for that here. Um, we can use the cobblestone walls, or we can. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. Let's do something kind of funky that wraps around the back maybe to here connected let's take a look at that from the front yeah that's definitely got the look of like a farming type building I think so what do we want to do here Let's do something like that. Or do we want to reverse that? I think I like that better. Or yep, that's it. That's the one. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, don't do that. Do we just leave it flat like that? Hmm. Let's put a roof on it. Come back all the way like this. Hmm. Let's say... What's the word I'm looking for? Asymmetrical build, so... This roof is gonna bother me. Let's uh, do that. I do like this though. Kinda, this transition area. Maybe we can do something like that. Maybe, I kinda like, I just wanna leave it like this, I think. Or we can, it's kind of interesting. But I think it blocks off too much of this room. That's not what I wanted at all. Yeah, let's do the walls instead. Just like that. Or, <laughs> something like that. So we don't really use this wood except for the front doors. So it might be an interesting way to incorporate that. Or just something. There we go. That's it. That's it. I did it. Good job, me. Um, we can have like a shelf back here. And just the typical interior stone for the floor. Give me daylight. Sunshine. And then out here, just, you know, randomly place this stuff. Place, please. Something like that. Something like that. The roof. Hmm. You know what I did on most of the houses? Is I dropped the ceiling down half a slab or half a block. So I could put leaves and stuff on top. I think that's what we're going to do here. This is going to be an issue though. But whatever. For this main part, we'll just keep this down here, I think. Right, that looks okay. Looks okay from the inside. Um, do the, hello. Same thing here. And then here. Grr, if we do this. Eh, it kind of loses the feel, but I still think it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just keep this. Alright, and then we can build stuff on top. I like that. Okay. It's not so bad. What do we think? Let's get some window panes. What have I been using? The lime? Seems really bright. Definitely not the lime. <laughs> Green. There we go. Let's put a window here. And was there one in the back yes stop raining you're being very rude okay what if we have like a chimney shepherd seems more like a very utilitarian type or what would be very utilitarian type of a building so let's have like a furnace or something. What would that be? In here? Yes. So he like has to heat his house in the jungle. Because <laughs> I didn't think that part through. But that's fine. Uh, slab. So he'll have a little chimney on top of his house. Maybe it gets cold in the jungle? I don't know. Maybe it gets cold at night. Seems like that could be a thing. So there we have our little shepherd building. Let's put some sheep in there. Sheep, sheep. Sheep, sheep. And we'll do some more decoration. I'll stop here because we got the, I think, the bones of the building and we can mess around with it more in the vanilla map. But we'll add some, maybe some hay bales and a cauldron out here with some water for the sheep and of course do some more decoration within this house. 
Or is it a house? I guess it'll just depend on the, the profession of the villager if it makes sense for it to be their house. And also, there's no way to actually make them live in a specific house, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm happy with this. If you have any suggestions of stuff I could add to it, I'm trying to keep with the same theme. So, like, using the same kind of materials. I kind of nixed this idea of using stained clay in these builds. Um, but, yeah, if you have any ideas of stuff I could include in this... Or alterations I can make let me know and I'll do it because I I'm kind of stressing myself trying to add new details into builds but I'm pretty happy with this this one but that's enough on this let's uh let's hop back into the server and play with some villagers all right, let's try and name some villagers. I uh, found a method online that lets you do it without making somebody else run the thousands and thousands of blocks out to my base to help me. Uh, and that involves using a nether portal. Oh, right, there's water there. That's fine, we'll just do two wide. Um, got my ender chest. Lots of obsidian in, oh, I already had some. Good thing I did that. Uh, this is from when me and LP went to the end and harvested some of the towers. Because we will we'll be resetting the end at some point, eventually. So let's, oops, don't want to do that. I uh, got my anvil. Got some name tags. So we need to decide why we, we, we want to name these guys. Uh... Hello. I think we'll just do like weird combinations of names. Like, let's do a Gregory. <laughs> and this one can be Philium. And what's another one? Um. Juanathan. <laughs> yep. And Bobbert. Okay, so the way this works, um you know how when you're in a portal you can't like access your inventory or really do anything? Uh it's the same sort of concept. Like I'm pressing E right now. Can't go through. Um so that, the the only thing you can do is name the villager. Because you can't interact with the villager either. I guess that's what I should have <laughs> shown out first. Um, let's give this a shot. Let's try and name this guy in the white apron right here. You have to click a few times. I think it worked. Can't really see. Let me look upon you. Well... Did it work? What happened? What happened? What have I done? Uh, well shoot. Are any of you named? It should have worked. Back away please, thank you. Uh, let's... Maybe their name tag's like stuck in the roof. Not the name tag, but the, the name that would be floating over their head. Well, who ate my name tag? Rude boys. Let's try again. Bobbert. There we go. What happened to the first one? Where did Bobbert go? There you are. Alright, well, I don't know what happened to the first one. We'll have to redo that one, I guess. And we have to make sure we don't name the same guy twice. So we got those two. Let's try and get that guy over there by the window. 
Well, it seems like it worked. I don't know what happened to the first one. Did I, like, throw it? I'm scared to go through here because I don't know if it'll create a new portal. But I need to know. Hello? Hmm. Well, I guess it just ate one. Well, that's fine. Um, eventually, we will be setting up a uh, auto fisher out here so we can get quite a few more that way. Um, but where am I going? The way I want to do this village is name them as they enter the village. Not like, oh wait. Okay. Did I just miss it? Have you guys been yelling at the screen? I feel like I would have seen it. I don't know. Whatever. Well, we got it back now. Guess I just glitched out. Um, but like, I want to introduce the villagers into the village one at a time. So I can make sure I name them all individually. Alright. Are there any more I can actually reach? Guess I can try and reach you. Hmm. I don't know what their hitboxes are like. Do I have any ladders? I have ladders! Great day. Alright, you... Scooch to the back, por favor. And you... Front and center. You're the star of this show. And... Gregory! Hooray! Great job, everyone. Uh, so I guess we need to get two more name tags, come up with two more names, and get these guys named, and then we can release them back into the village. So they don't have to stand out in the cold. I'll give you a roof. A good guy like that. But that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hi, kitty. This can be the cat's house now. I need to get some fish. I also need to replant this wheat. The villagers have trampled it to death. But yeah, this is Burrito King signing off from the GameGraph server. Yum, yum, yum. Until next time. Bye-bye.